Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play Demon Souls. Today, we're going in there, right behind me. See that place? Back to the tower. 3 2 this time. But first, we saved the Saint Urbane last time. Let's see what he has to say. Thanks to you, I was able to seek refuge in this Nexus. Now I stay here and pray, along with my disciples, for the heroes facing the demons. If you wish for benevolent protection in your fight against the demons, then bring me demon souls. I will cleanse them and perform a miracle with their power. If you truly are a disciple, then you must have a talisman in God's image. Heavenly miracles occur in Boletaria through the talismans. God has granted this accursed land with a special power. It is God's way of telling us we must stand up to the demons. After the dark arts spread across the land, holy miracles were witnessed once again. The will of God is clear. We must defeat the demons, annul the curse of Boletaria, and purge the evil magicians who manipulate those accursed souls. As you know, souls are a source of evil power emanating from the demons. King Alant was overcome by a lust for such power, and has placed Boletaria in her present predicament. Old Freak and the Candle Maiden are no exception. We must defeat the demons and purge the. That's all he has to say. A lot of backstory about just the world itself. He, of course, as Freak teaches you magic, teaches you miracles using boss souls. Now, I don't need this or this anymore. And you know. I've always been curious about something. Let's try this. And blah, 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 what else? Mm, no, 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 nothing. Ah, this works. God bless this brave warrior. Mbasa. Mbasa. Uh, that's enough dicking around in the Nexus. Let's get on to world 3-2, the Tower of Latria, the Spires. Ah, now that we're in world 3-2, let's find... Ah, there's Tauto. Tauto likes to hide on this ledge over here summon him in. Now, the armor I'm wearing is the Dark Silver set. You get this off of a later boss. But, seeing how it gives you magic resistance, I decided this was a good zone for it. I'm also, I also have equipped on me the Northern Regalia. Pretty much a weapon that you get for being the game, more or less. A boss weapon. Made off of a very strong demon soul. And, oh god. The Meat Cleaver is the other one. Made from the Adjudicator Soul. Now, where is this guy coming in? Oh, it's this dude again. Yeah. God, it's where every time. It's it's like always this dude whenever he, we get invaded. I, th I think he just has the science down for this. Yeah. Like, he mentioned it in the thread that all he really does is just one specific thing. Like, he gets in on the first try. I don't know why everybody else has a problem, but... No, seriously, where... where I don't even know where you spawn in this zone. He probably spawned later on. Well, I guess let's proceed and just keep an eye out for him. Yeah. So, the uh, main enemy that we'll be fighting in this zone, you can actually see one over there, and one off in the distance over there, are gargoyles. Oh, God. What? Do you, you see that? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is he oh, at? Oh, I got, just got shot. Where's he at? He's further along this ledge here. Oh, yeah, he's oh, taking damage him. over okay. there. Okay. Hey. I don't know what he did to take damage, to be honest. Hey, cover for me. 
He's using the uh, curse miracle. I just fell off the edge. Yes. What? Oh, this is bullshit. What? He killed you? No. Miracle didn't work. What? Wrath of God. I had banish. Oh. Well, yeah, it's only meant for uh, people that are like supposed to be helping you, but are actively grieving you. No, banish is for black phantoms. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was my whole. It's gonna do a trick, and it didn't work. Did you die? Yeah. Okay. Because I b banish is a long casting spell. If I had actually fought him, I would have won. Oh. Well, that certainly was something. Yeah. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, the meat cleaver is made from the adjudicator's soul. Oh, god damn it. He invaded again, didn't he? Nope. I think we finally got what to say. Oh, the dude that's been complaining in the thread? Oh, don't say that. Yeah, I mean, he's been upset that he hasn't been able to join, is what I meant. Suck it! <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel so bad for him now. Did you just shove him off the edge or something? No, I used Banish. Oh. Uh. Damn, now I actually feel really bad. This has been trying so hard to get in. We don't even know if it's the same dude, okay? I know, but he's been trying so hard to get in a video, and I just <laughs> I said so you should or do him. Yeah. Uh, I, I, now I just kind of hope he tries. I just really want to show off banish because it's so hard to actually use. Like, look at this. Look at me real quick. This is how long of a casting time it has. And they have to get hit by that shockwave, I assume. Probably. Anyways, let's continue on. Yep. So, over here is the first item. I think this is just a soul item. But the main trick is that once you pick this up, you start walking back, the first gargoyle actually starts coming over. And then he, <laughs> he lost the will to live. Yeah, he's still coming. I know. Oh, apparently that doesn't have enough range. Oh, oh I love the ragdoll in this game. Especially it's on these guys. These guys have great ragdoll effects. Yeah. This is a scary weapon to use. What, the meat cleaver? Mm-hmm. Never used it. I'm not a muscle wizard like you, I'm just a, a better wizard. Actually... Hmm. I like how you ran past the gargoyle. Uh, if you, if you run over here, he'll fly over to here, mm -hmm. and you can find him in this big area. I'm actually going to use the northern regalia for these little tiny platforms. It's a much more controlled weapon. So these guys are actually really easy to kill. Yeah. If you just run up, you can just get them in, a, in an easy little loop. Usually take them out before they can recover. The nice thing is they drop a lot of souls. Now, normally we would go down this right path over here, but we're going to have to go that way anyway for something later on. So we're going to leave that for a future time. And up here, I really hate doing this, but eh, screw it, I've already died once. If, if White World tendency was still a possibility, I wouldn't give a crap. You died. Oh, oh nope, no. We're good. Yeah, I'm always deceived by that because I always expect it's the one that's right yeah. there, but it's you not. You can just stay up there. Oh, nope. No, nope, you're good too. So anyway, uh, hitting that ledge and getting to here gives us the rune sword and the rune shield. 
I stated in an earlier video that these are weapons from Latria, wielded by... God, Ostrava. what's his name? Oh, Strava. Thank you. And... Wait, what the hell just died? Uh, probably... I don't know. What has that much health? <laughs> or that much souls? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm confused now. Maybe something later on in the level just threw itself off the ledge? You know what it might have been? No, if it what? If it was, I would be surprised. I think I might know what it was, but we'll see when we get there. Alright. Uh, anyway, the... Rune, the rune sword and rune shield. Uh, rune shield is a very good magic resist shield. I can actually show it off real quick since it's sitting in my inventory. Right there. It's very. It's a. It's a good magic resist shield. Has a very nice pattern on it. I see you flying up there. Um, however, it does not have 100% physical block, and that's just no good for me. Oh, wait, actually, yes, it does. Eh, whatever. Anyway. I'm shooting the giant heart. It does nothing. I think it's creepy as hell looking. Yeah. It is. Um, apparently I just... Oh god. Okay, I've messed up my, my items all together. Fixing this. Okay, there we go. Fixed. Um, the rune shield has decent magic protection. It also, I think, gives you the same aura as having a magic resistant ring on. The ring of magical dullness. So... Bitch. Here, you get him with magic. Generally, I have a bow equipped for these guys, but. Look at that sweet ass dodge. The best in enemy AI. Yeah, he's not landing because I'm directly below him. Where, where'd he go? I don't know, I'm still locked onto him. There he is. Oh, he juked you. Oh, there you go. Yeah, these guys all drop uh, very low-level souls. And here's the, the scariest item for me in the entire level. I just... Look at that. What, I don't like walking across that. It doesn't look like it should be possible. But anyway. This is where you find the Flamberg. The Flamberg is a large sword-type weapon. Similar to what I have equipped with the Northern Regalia. Except it... All of its weapon adjustment upgrades are the sharp stone related upgrades and it does bleed damage so it's weird God, half these enemies I forgot how like half these enemy are ranged enemies like um half useless oh my god like being locked on him he um, sort of disappeared after I hit him with the fireball Nah, he they they drop if they're hit. I, I know that, but he hasn't come back up yet. Screw this horseshit. I I don't know what happened to him. I see him. I'm not gonna have any of this bullshit come back later in the level. Oh, he went all the way over here. Yeah, they're they have very weird AI. Yeah. Oh. Well. Um. What the hell was I saying? I don't know, I tend not to listen. Flam oh, the Flamberg has uh, Sharpstone related upgrades, and uh, it actually deals bleed damage, which is really cool. I might have actually said that already, but just I'm going to parrot it real quick. Now, here, here's an item drop that isn't worth it, and I swear to God, if you sneak up behind me, I will kick you out of this LP. <laughs> You know you can just oh. come around from this side, right? Yeah, it's I I find it easier to come from that side because you walk towards the wall and then hung it. Yeah, you you should be glad that I knocked those pots out of the way. I could have just gone back. Yeah, but we both know that you wanted to have. So there are two ambushes on this stairway from gargoyles. Gargoyle man. Northern Regalia is hella strong. Maybe I should talk about the gimmick of the Northern Regalia. So the reason that the Northern Regalia is so strong is that it scales on damage based off of your character tendency. If you're either pure black or pure white, it will do f 
it has a 550 attack rating, which I think is the highest that you can get on a single weapon. Later, nerd. <laughs> you can take the elevator, there's an item over here. No, I'm at the gargoyle, was trying to get up to you. <laughs> and oh, they yeah. got hit down by the elevator. <sighs> Unfortunately, due to my heavy armor and heavy weapons that I have. Oh, oh, yep. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> like I said later, nerd. <laughs> We're just gonna leave this guy alive. He doesn't want to come up and play with us. At the top of these stairs, we have a couple of these guys. None too threatening. They are the same enemies from the first area, but if we kill them all, well... Why does that heart have hands? I don't know. Here, yeah, we should save this area for a later time. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a little bit later. If you have pure white world tendency, you can proceed. Oh look, there's more things over there. Huh. More shiny lights. I want to go towards the shinies. Yeah, leave that cage alone. It looks dangerous. Now, this is a, a little bit of a little bit of a trap. You don't want to go right off of it. You kind of want to go to the left, or else you'll just run right off. You mean actually paying attention to the platform below you before you jump off is the optimal way to do things? My God. Yeah, I know. Oh, there's a dude over here. Let's see what he has to say. Yay, I did a good thing, and I'm gonna get a present. I don't like I the way he it. looks, I'm gonna kill him. You can't hit him, silly. I don't know. Apparently this message says that the answer is within me. Yeah. I might be able to <laughs> knock him off the edge, but I doubt it. Nah. Well, Alright, in the cage. Well, yeah. Alright, come on. I have to wait for you. No, get in the same cage with me. No, I have to wait for you. Go, 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 get in. Okay, fine. Yay! Cage buddies. <laughs> oh god, I need to get out of here. I'm getting claustrophobic. <laughs> so that was Yurt the Silent Chief. He's a pretty cool guy. Yeah. We'll talk about him more in later videos. He's very friendly. He he loves everybody that he meets in the Nexus. He's, he's super cool. He's the best buddy. The bestest. So, we're in a new section of the level. I think I'll finally switch to the uh, meat cleaver. The meat cleaver is technically a hammer type weapon, which is really weird. Because it should be an axe. Yeah, but I don't think this game has great axes. Yeah, probably not. Oh, wait, yes, it does. Wait, doesn't it? Fuck, I don't even know. Uh, the dozer axe. I guess, but I guess, think that just counts as an axe. Oh, God. I found our friends. So, I don't know what the proper name for these things are called. I just call them the man centipedes. I think that's what they are. Horrifying, that's what they are. I just don't like the way they look. If you do enough damage to them, then their tail falls off. Not for the small ones, though. Yeah. So, the, uh, t the meat cleaver kind of sucks one-handed. Two-handed is very, very fast attack pattern. It's actually the same attack pattern as Brand, but it doesn't do blunt damage, so that's why I didn't suggest it earlier. Uh, let's go take a quick quick walk through the bleh, through the swamp. Uh, this is actually a dumb way. We're not going to go this way. <laughs> hey, I got an elevator ride from one of the tentacle things. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, this is the way I wanted to go. Because there's items out here. There's also a nasty, but we'll see that soon enough. 
The Fragrant Ring. Fragrant Ring is a item that you start as with a Royal. And it gives you, I think, 1 MP per second? Uh, 1 MP per 5, I believe. Because I, yeah, I believe it's a per 5. For uh, uh, any sort of regen. Yep. Probably. Nice thing. Oh, there goes my second chance. Actually, it just dead. instantly killed me. God damn it, Tauto. Well. It's no easy way for me to get back to you. Yes, there is. There. You'll just have to oh. do it solo for a while. Yep. I mean, stay oh, God, this guy is not stopping flipping your shit. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to cast a spell. I'm trying to use tactics taught to me by the thread. I thought you, uh... Do you have a bow with you? I do. Just use a bow. No, that's silly. I want to use tactics. You're no good at Final Fantasy tactics, though. Balls. Right. Curse weapon. So Fat Roll still has its uses. Legit, not as great as normal rolling, but. If you need to get away really quickly, it's somewhat useful. Come on, just attack. Yeah, I got him. Oh, I should probably explain Curse Weapon. <laughs> Curse Weapon is the greatest of the buff spells. And what it does is any attack that you do just deals 50% more damage. This counts for bows and... Well, actually, I don't know if it works for bows. Or spells. Whatever, I'm dumb. Um... But it does work on your weapons. And... That's pretty much it. <laughs> the downside to it is that any attack... Uh, oh God. I can't speak today. Um, every second you lose, I believe, 1% of your health. Unless you have what is called as a cracked cast of it. I don't know why it's called Cracked, but what that means is that the implement that you're using, you do not have the stats to wield. The only thing I believe that you can do that with is the Talisman of the Beasts. Beast. Which is what I've been using the entire time. As, as of I. Now, what using the Cracked version does, well, normally with any uh, normal spell, is you'll... Know, be shitty at it. However, with Cursed Weapon, you still get all the benefits of the spell, but instead you lose one health per second. We could see this every time uh, Nagus invaded us. He was using the Cracked Talisman. I think you can also offset the health loss by the Judicator Shield or the, uh, the HP Regen Shield, but I don't think it, or the, the Ring, but I don't think it does enough to be able to completely offset it. Yes, because I have, I have the ring equipped, so I am slowing the health loss, but at the point that I am at, I am losing 15 health per second, right. so I would need I would need the Regenerator's ring, the Adjudicator's shield, and possibly also the, um, the Recovery mir Miracle cast it. Regeneration, sorry. Which I actually have on me, but I don't even know if I'm going to use it. Kill some more of these centipede men. Ah, disease resistance ring. This is similar to the poison resistance and bleed resistance rings, but for plague resistance. As with the other ones, all it does is multiply your resistance times four. It's actually kind of crazy. The thing is, it stacks with other resistance things, so if you combine that with Bram or Israel, you get some crazy resistances going. I am lost. I fell ba back down into the bog. Completely lost. Okay, I found. I found where I'm going now. Sorry, where where are you waiting? Uh, the obvious spot where the paths reconnect. Oh, okay. I know or you can just now. go back. Oh, actually, I mean, I could just go and try to meet you there in the bog if you want. Uh, if you think you can get here quickly enough. I'll give it a shot. 
Actually, you know what? Hmm. You know, let's just do a little cut right here. I'm not, I'm not really too good at doing this on the cuff commentary by myself. Yeah, I know. So I'll put, I'll put a cut here, and we'll come back right here once I have Tauto. And we're back. Anyway, let's continue on. I have cleared out everything in the swampy area. So we're just going to continue on up here. If I knock any more dudes off, I'm not going to chase after them. Have we figured out was which dumb. enemy is the one that died before? Um, I'm fairly certain what it was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure what it is, too. And if it is, I'm going to laugh. Yeah. Oh god, you left an enemy behind. Oh, I didn't kill these guys. God, the oh, one hand I, is... I just ran in completely the wrong direction. Where'd you go? Did you just run off? No, I... I... I ran the wrong way. I, I see you now, but I just pissed off a bunch of these dudes. Northern Regalia, I can be more accurate with it. Alright, back to the meat cleaver. The nice thing that I really haven't been able to show off about the meat cleaver is it makes enemies... Well, actually, you saw it when I got invaded. It will um, knock humanoid enemies back. Because it is, of course, a heavy armor. Uh, armor. <laughs> it's an armor! Um, it's a great hammer, so just like with the skeletons in 4-1 when I was using Bram, it'll knock humanoid people way the fuck back. Which is possibly useful for what's coming up here. This is the first roadblock most people hit in this area. That tentacle right there. Yep, that one. It's, it's tricky. Yeah, I had a hard time getting over it. No, it's up here. So, these are the Black Phantom Mind Flayers. I'm just gonna murder and... it. Oh, holy crap. Fuck this shit. Oh god, it went through it. Isn't it supposed to charge after doing that? It did it twice. Huh, weird. It's dead now. Yeah, fuck these guys. They're gonna kill us in one hit. Yeah, 26.99. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, one of them hit me and took off three quarters of my life bar. Guess what I regret not bringing. Holy crap! <laughs> you just got a huge chunk of your health off again, didn't you? You can see my health. You know the answer to that. Hold up. <laughs> okay, I got this. So that is a crystal lizard over there. It is pretty much one of the harder crystal lizards to get. Um, unless you lower these guys out like this, then you can do this trick. Okay, if you get up to him and he doesn't run away, he will jump down there, take lethal falling damage, and die. Then you can just go down afterwards and pick up the item that he dropped. We're not going I'm to not do going that because that's just a waste yeah. of time. T time constraints. Um, however, over here... Alternatively, you can just shoot the asshole. Yeah, with an arrow. But th then there's a chance of them running away. Yeah. That one that one you're always sure to get it. Some old, sp some old spice and some fresh spice. Not that, with all the mind flayers you've been killing, you should be short on either of those, but... Yeah. Uh, can you get the crossbow man to our left? To our right here? Yeah, we have to wait for him to actually come down, though. There we go. I wasn't in range before. I really wish I... Uh, should just switch to a bow and use it, but... Then I have to de-equip one of my weapons. Eh, fuck it. Sticky composite though.
Not as much damage as Tauto, but I can aim. No, you can't. I've played with you long enough. Hey, I have video footage of me shooting down a Sky Beast. What has happened? I cut him Why to pieces. Are the Why are the rolls backwards? I don't know. <laughs> also, I don't think you ever mentioned it before, um, and we probably didn't really see them too well. If you knock the gargoyles off from up top, then their corpses actually show up down below in the swamp. Oh yeah, they do, they do. It's, it's a neat old touch just to show that the worlds are, the world is completely connected. Yeah. Also, I go on the elevator. I'll see you in about two minutes. Okay. Yeah, it's a really long elevator. Yeah, this is stupid long. I'm still not at the top yet. I just hit it. Oh, there's a gargoyle up here, and it looks like he's going down to you. Okay. Nope, nope he's staying up here. Okay. Gargoyles, they're not hard to kill at all. Also, they're, they're wielding rapiers, so if you block it, even with a shitty shield, it's going to bounce right off. I will just activate the cutscene while waiting for you. Okay. That's one, two, and a missed. <laughs> Three, four, and activate cutscene. It's never really mentioned what the hell that thing is. Uh, it, it's supposed to be a heart because you can actually hear it beating if you like stand close right, to it. Right. Some say it's the uh, the boss of this whole world's heart that he like took out of his body and made demonic or some shit, and that's why he lives forever. Um. But then it has all those bugs come out of it. It's 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 weird. I'm guessing it's supposed to be the basically his heart got possessed and he removed it and he was still possessed. Anyways, we're back to the beginning of the level. Yep, that's the uh, the archstone over there. I was just going over to get a better look at it. However, now there's bugs everywhere. Oh man, it's just like I don't know. It's just like that hotel I went to that one time. <laughs> you had a joke starting and you're just like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, my jokes are never funny, so... Nothing was lost. Switching back to the Northern Regalia, since we're back on the, uh, scaffolds. I actually really like this zone. It, for my first time through, it really scared the crap out of me completely. I was just... Every turn was a new and dangerous... I don't know, I thought 3-1 was a lot more terrifying when I first played the game. Yeah, but in 3-1, you can see everything that's, like, going to come at you. They're all on those walkways. Mm -hmm. In this, you got the gargoyles that can come from oh, anywhere. Oh, we lured that dude out. Uh, looks like you handled it. Yeah. Hey, there's just a bunch of chunk over here. I guess uh, nothing important. Let's just go back. Nope, totally not. Actually, they designed this really well. You come over here get the shard of moonlight that's here and then you turn back and you see oh wait there's a walkway oh he got back in now I will give him a fair fight no like seriously I'm gonna give him a complete fair fight fair in your opinion is 2v1 <laughs> fair in his opinion is one on one stay, stay out of this no
Yep. Now let's actually continue and, you know, keep being informative. Stop being mad about video games. I know it's mostly me. Yeah. Lights just flickered. I doubt I'm going to lose power, but, you know. Alright. Uh, we didn't mention it, but the centipede guys can actually drop mercury stone. Yeah. So, uh, when you drop the heart, you basically unlock this whole area. Uh, you could get out to this ledge before, but there's you, actually. Oh. But you couldn't yeah. actually get inside that hallway. It would have been Ouch. blocked by the heart itself. Crossbows hurt. Yes, they do. Uh, now I'm mildly worried because I don't have second chance for the boss, and these guys actually do a lot of damage. I thought you said you brought second chance. No, I brought banish. Oh, okay. I only have like three miracle slots. Yeah, good. We are a little behind schedule, and I kind of want to hurry this up at this point. Yeah, I know. It wouldn't have been a problem if the same person didn't invade five times with Storm Ruler, but... Legit, after he killed you last time, he did try and have a decent fight with me, but then all he was doing was backstabbing. And yeah. That's not even fun to see anyway. So, there's a couple of interesting items down here. There's the gold mask and the epee rapier. The ring of avarice. And I just think some hero souls. Yeah. The Epe Rapier, of course, is a fire damage dealing weapon. Fire and physical. Ring of Avarice, I believe we talked about last time when we did 3-1, is uh, more souls when you get kills. Very okay rain, which I think you're... Nah. No, no, no. You said you were wearing the rogue set, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Let's just move on. Because I'm actually very interested about seeing if that black phantom is dead. Yeah, it it showed the soul scanned again. God, fat run so slow. Three dash two is the run area. The nice thing is it's one of the uh, it's one of the areas that gives you a good uh, shortcut back to the boss in case you die, which is very handy because the boss is very hard. Well, he's hard when you're by yourself. Uh, when you got a buddy with you, it's a lot more easy. Would you say it evens the fight? Uh, I would say having a buddy with you always evens the fight. So up. This very treacherous stairway, which by the way, you can actually fall off on the left side. You can just run right into it if you want to. Um, I'm actually just going to take a... Yeah, he's dead. Yep. That's weird. This is where the uh, Black Phantom Mind, Mind Flare that we were talking about before would normally be. And he's normally a pain in the ass to get by if you don't have any ranged attacks. Yeah. But uh, he's dead. Uh, I'll show off an easy way of taking him out in the highlights video, so don't worry. Just watch that one. We would have to kill ourselves or something. Which, man, when do I ever die? I didn't even know there was an item back here. Yep, it's not, it's nothing. I think it was just, I didn't even look at it, I think it's just a used soul. My basement is getting very cold and I'm starting to shake. On this other side, I believe there is some old spice, but I just want to show it off. Just be 100% sure. Yeah, there eight old spices though. That is a lot of magic. 
which is very helpful because you'll probably need it if you're a magic user against this boss. Yeah. Uh, go on, go on ahead. I'm going to adjust my item wheel. <sighs> Maybe I should just go fucking get a blanket. God damn, why am I shaking so much? <laughs> Obviously scared of the boss. Preparing myself. As I, I might have mentioned this earlier, the meat cleaver is enchantable, so I will be using black turpentine, the best enchanting item. It just has a very short downtime. Cast warding before going in. And let us take on the man eater. Wow. Um. What? Is, Fuck. Is he just not doing a ton of damage, or...? It's doing, like, nothing. Yeah. And my second chance is gone. Oh god. So, typically when that happens, the man-eater is powering up. And, uh, you don't want him to get that off. As you saw already, his moves are kind of annoying. However, thanks to having the Dark Silver Shield, I can block not all his attacks. I really wish I had Firestorm right now because that will just destroy the boss. Yes, yes it will. But we're doing alright. Yeah. You want to be very aggressive with the Man Eater for one reason in particular. And that's it! This isn't even his final form yet. Yes, there is a second Man Eater. I cannot hit him where he is. It will show up either when he's very low on health or when uh, like three minutes have passed in the fight. Oh god, there he is. Yep. First one's almost dead though. I got him. First one's I got him dead. with my backswing. Good. Yeah, the main problem with this fight is, especially on just the new game when you're first playing this game, is that the fight's okay. probably going to take forever for you to actually hurt the, Let's head to the middle man platform. or the first man eater. And then the second one shows up and you just sort of get destroyed. I got this. So the middle platform is a really good place to fight the man-eater. Uh, when there's only one left. Uh, you can actually use this middle torch to block a number of its attacks. I'm really upset with how little damage the uh, enchanted thing was doing. The cleaver? Yeah. I, I really thought that the... the black turpentine. turpentine and one of the most broken weapons in the game is going to do more damage I'm good oh I'm dead oh fuck me it's okay you can finish him uh maybe you were doing a lot of damage and he is buffed because we went in with two people it's okay I believe in you I don't know why right. but I believe in you this is going to be off-the-cuff commentary with just newbie. So, the very handy thing about the Dark Silver Shield. I mentioned... No, I fucking mentioned that already. God damn it. It blocks his, uh... His shockwave attack. And the problem is... The Dark Silver Shield does not have amazing guard break resistance. So... Um, all of his melee attacks will do a lot of damage to you. But that's why you have warding. Right. That spell that I'm totally casting. Sweet! Okay, we're good. Did you get him? Nope. I took off some equipment and I now have fast roll. Cool. This is on the cuff. Mainly, a lot of my uh, strategies are built around Tauto being there. So, without Tauto, gotta make some adjustments. I almost got knocked off. He's really being a complete asshole and not coming down at all. Don't you still have your bow right. equipped? Yep. People want to see bowmanship. 
Unfortunately, magic really doesn't hit him if you're out of lock-on range, so there's really nothing that a magician can do. Which is why I wasn't sniping him out of the air in the first place. I always like to top myself off in this guy. I never like having any damage on myself at any time. The thing is, he really likes doing that rushing attack, and it just completely destroys my stamina. And he's gone again. I've never seen the man eater just be this non aggressive. Well, I mean, it had to wait until we were recording, so. Yep. <laughs> this has just been a train wreck of a video, hasn't Pretty it? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, I got dashed. Tempted to just say, leave everything un unedited. <laughs> no. That would be awful, <laughs> terrible, and about an hour and a half long. Fine, just have an unedited version. No. That's so bad, and I got so angry. For good reason, but... I got really angry people, about video games. People want to know. Nope. Oh, oh. goddamn. Hate that dash attack. Stop! We were seeing the downside of bows. Oh. Oh boy. I'm dead. I'm dead. You're dead? Yeah, I died. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you gotta be like just furious right now. So mad about video games. And we're back to the staircase. Um, this time, the Black Phantom isn't dead. You can actually see him up there quite barely. So, uh, I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna do a little trick. I showed this off in the highlight video. But let's just do it here, too. I have the Grave Robber's Ring on. And that's gonna let me just... run up to this guy. No issue at all. Alternatively, what you can do is you can just wait for him to go down the stairs, turn around, and then you can just run up behind him and like backstab him before he turns around. Or just wail on him. He yeah, I just feel safer using the uh, Great Robber yeah. thing. He's not that hard once you actually know what to do, it's just the first time that you do it, it's a pain in the ass. Alright, take two. Second verse, same as the first. Right, I just hope we can get as good of a beat down on the first one. Well, legit, I won't be using a shitty weapon for the first couple seconds. Yeah. He does not like you. It's okay, I don't like me either. God, he didn't like that joke either. Unfortunately, we're not going to be uh, trying to fight him fair. We're going to be cheesing the fight with Soul Ray. So, sorry to everybody who's sick of Soul Ray. We kind of want to kill this dude. Nah, they legit said that when like you start using it because there's no better alternative, it shows. Yeah. Well, I mean, Firestorm would be the better alternative, but I didn't want to have to leave the world and then go change my spells and then come back in. Yep. This has been. Oh, this has taken long enough. Oh, I was actually able to block that dark, that charge. I want to use shit balls. It's okay. He's on me. Good, because I fucked up my. Oh, the second one's around. This one's almost dead. It's fine. Except the second one spawns over here. And they're ganging up on me right now. 
I gotta back off. I need to put my second chance back on. Use that full moon grass. Maybe what are you doing? Full moon grass doesn't do enough. You want to do, use new moon? No, I meant I meant new. Or dark moon. Yeah. It's okay. We got one of them down. Yeah. You'll be so scared. <laughs> God, stop being such a babby. <laughs> I don't like this ball. It makes me, it makes me into a babby. I don't. Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm. Oh, oh, my oh. God. <laughs> Thank Christ. <laughs> oh, man. I was not expecting to live through that. Just go heal yourself. I did. Oh, I'm dead for now. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Uh, well, everybody in the thread? Firestorm. Firestorm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I die. I'm just gonna go get it in the meantime. Yep. Why do we... Why can we beat the first one completely fine, and then the second one always kills you? You go up to the platform, and then it knocks me off the edge. That's why. I never got knocked off over here. <sighs> Dude, tense as hell, shit. Shit. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. Remember, remember when I thought we'd be able to beat this entire zone without dying once? Yeah, I don't know what you were thinking. This is Demon Souls. I was thinking that we are two pro as hell players. Also, he's just standing still and I'm pelting him with arrows. Oh god, you got him stuck in a, in a loop, didn't you? Nope, nope. <laughs> not anymore, he's not. Come on, just do your... Stupid shit. I hate you. Dumb boss. We're boss in the game. No, he's not. More like... D dick butt. Boss. Eater. Really? This is the where you're going with this? <laughs> you died again, didn't you? No, you're just getting tossed around by him. Remember when you first started playing this game and you're like, oh man, this game is so great. I want to LP it. Yeah. Yeah, whatever happened to that? <laughs> Whatever happened to that boy with the childhood, childlike uh, optimism? He got knocked off the the, the scaffolding by the storm roller, <laughs> like a dozen times. <laughs> it was like two. I don't know, but the dude invaded like half a dozen times. At least. Oh god, he's powering up. Yeah, what happens when that snake bites... I don't think we actually ever explained that all the way. When the snake bites him, uh, he gets super strong. And... Yeah, it kind of sucks. But the nice thing is that when he does it, you get enough chance to get two nice hits off on him. I think you can stagger him out of that. Oh yeah, you can. If you hit him even once, he gets knocked out of it. He likes to keep doing the soming... The soming... The homing soul arrow and uh, have been just pelting with arrows. I'm actually gonna win, probably. He says, as he does. Tato, do you have a wooden desk? A wooden desk? Yeah. No. No, because I would have asked you to knock on it. 
Oh, actually, well, it's yeah. Actually, I do have a wooden desk. Headshot. He's dead. Yay! I did it all on my own, with no help at all. Fuck you! <laughs> Great player, S rank. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I gave you an S. I did like half the work of that fight. <laughs> Technically, I did more because I took one down that was almost at full health. Uh huh. Who kept you alive long enough to be able to do such a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing uh, we're done with World Three, and there's nothing more that needs to be shown about off about this world. Rip white wall tendency. Um, down there, I found a moon short sword. It's a uh, beginning upgraded. Like, first for step upgrade of the moon stuff, so you can use that for things. Uh, from this, you get the mixed demon soul. And that'll be it. I thank you for watching this train wreck of a video. And I will see you next time in Let's Play Demon Souls. Now let's warp out.